All right, sixth graders, this is to help you with number six on CR11. It says a mole of a certain chemical weighs 0 0.023 grams. Three moles of the chemical weigh, all right, well, if you have one mole, and that one mole weighs, just trying to draw a little visual. So if you have one mole, and that one mole weighs 0 0.023, this would represent one mole. They want to know three moles of that chemical would weigh. So now what if we had three moles of that chemical? What if we had one, two, three moles? Each one of these boxes would represent one mole. And each one of those moles would be 0 0.023. I know your teachers do a lot of visual modeling with you at the sixth grade level, so don't be afraid to draw yourself a picture of what's going on. So how can we figure out how much three moles would weigh? Oh, well, each mole weighs 0 0.023, so there's two options. You could either do 0 0.023 plus 0 0.023 plus 0 0.023, or you could do 0 0.023 times 3. You have three moles. This is what each of them weighs. So I'll do it both ways just so you, you'll come up with the exact same answer. All of these, we've lined up our decimal points, which guarantees our place values are lined up. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. 0 plus 0, 0 is 0. Point. 0 plus 0, 0, 0. Now let's go ahead and multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. That decimal point is moved over three places. Then in our answer, our decimal point must be moved over three places. Okay? So either way, your answer is going to be 0 0.069 grams. There you have it. I would suggest you draw yourself a picture of what's going on. Hope that helps.